are, even though this is an exhibition game, you want to be able to set the tone for the rest of the season and the games going forward. High energy, competing at a high level. Red always professes that, and especially the deeper your team is, the easier you can preach it, as Freeman bags one from the right elbow. I tell you what, 6'11", shoot the ball, put it on the ground. Nelson dribbles off his own foot. Nice dive for Carlos to get there. He finds Freeman with a pass to the basket. Yeah. Seeing enough dunks yet? We're only six minutes in. I tell you what, Jaquan Carlos, we, we talked about it in the pregame. This is a guy that's already setting the tone for his team, getting guys involved, getting on the floor defensively. Timeout taken by Damian Pitts. Here you go. You see Carlos getting on the ground, keeping the ball alive, running the floor. Donnie Freeman pick it up, and he knows what to do with it. Bang! <laughs> Freeman's eyes lit up when he saw a clear path to the basket. Starling gets the rebound. He can start the transition game. Yeah, and it's going to be interesting to see if they, you know, put Chopper on the ball and, you know, let him make decisions and handle the move. You want to get space. But being able to get guys in spots where they can create and make a play, that's huge. Coach Red is doing a great job of getting guys in spots. Kearney's cooking a little bit. Active. Go ahead and throw an elbow. I'm not saying knock somebody out, but go ahead and just get yourself involved a little bit more. I mean, you look at it, it's just a matter of time. He's a basketball player. He can score the basketball. He's got a strong body. He's going to be able to get to his spot. It's just a matter of making a oh, rocket from Bell into Freeman. Nice pass. And you see, we've seen the cross screen on uh, multiple support our men and women here at Syracuse. And Coach Jack has just done a great job of, uh, you know, competing and putting them in the conversation every time. Freeman with his back to the bucket, the turnaround with the spill. He gets it to his spots. He gets in that mid range. And, you know, once you get to your spots, like we talked about, you're going to have, you know, better opportunities to score the basketball. Donnie Freeman, like that spot at the top of the key, his first three pointer, 14 points. For the freshman. I tell you what, this kid right here is special. If you can shoot the ball, you know, at, at a high clip, at that height, you know, that athleticism, you know, he's he's a one and done kid, no, for sure. Seems like it comes easily for him. He's got 14 points. Hasn't necessarily felt like a spectacular game or whatever. You look up. Oh, oh. Coach Red has oh. been a great job. Cuff the trailing block. How about the counter strike here by the Cuse? Freeman, look away to oh. Peter and one. By Storovich on the payoff. The block shot at the rim. Kyle Cuff getting up. Look away by Donnie Freeman to Peter Mystorovich. You have to be able to learn how to get open in the half court. Set solid screens. Execute each set. And, you know, he's a product of that. He's been, you know, playing that type of basketball since a young age. And it shows. Freeman bowling people over. Gets his own and draws a foul. Top 10 recruit on the floor with four non-scholarship players. Cody, how about nailing one here, brother? Just off the mark. And oh. Ernie couldn't get it to go. That is a goal 10. Yeah, you see right here Donnie Freeman just showing his length and athleticism. Yeah, and he has two goal 10s. The one wasn't a goal.